Hello students, today we are going to begin with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is Migration. Migration Trends. Before moving forward with the chapter, we need to know what migration means. So what is migration? The movement of population from one place to the other is considered as migration. When we talk about migration, migration can either be permanent or it could be temporary. So, what is permanent migration then? When people migrate from one place to another on a permanent basis, that is considered as your permanent migration. For example, when a woman gets married, she leaves her home permanently and goes and lives in an in-laws house. Since she is leaving her home permanently, it is considered as permanent migration. Then what could be temporary migration? Temporary migration means when people move from one place to the other on a temporary basis. When we talk about temporary migration, it could be annual or seasonal or it could be on a daily basis. For example, we could talk about workers who work on a daily basis or when it comes to education, in that case also it could be a temporary migration. So, moving forward, there are a few basic concepts in case of migration. The first one that we have is a migrant person. Now, who is a migrant person? A person who migrates from one place to the other. That person is considered as your migrant person. When we talk about a migrant person, the definition for a migrant person would be a migrant person is one who at a given census was enumerated at a place other than his or her place of birth. When we talk about a migrant person, a migrant person's stay in any place could be of any duration. So, the next concept that we have is out migration and in migration. So now, what is out migration? Out migration means when people leave a place and migrate to some other place since they are leaving the place that is considered as out migration. Then what is in migration? When people come from other places and settle down at a particular place that is considered as in migration. Since they are moving in the place thus in migration. When we talk about out migration and in migration both affects the population of a region. When we talk about out migration out migration leads to decrease in population. In migration leads to increase in population. So let me give you a simple example for this. After your ISC gets over, you would want to go out to get talk and study somewhere else. For example, let's take Delhi. You move from Gato. Since you want to study in Delhi, you move out of Gantong. Since you are moving out of Gantong, thus it could be considered as out migration. When it comes to Delhi, from Gantong you are moving in Delhi. Since you are moving in Delhi, thus it is considered as in migration. So next we have is commutation. What is commutation then? Movement of people between two cities or to a city from surrounding ruler areas is considered as commutation. When we talk about commutation, mostly people commute to urban areas for either earning a livelihood or for a better standard of living. The last concept when it comes to migration that we have is your stepwise, stepwise migration. Now what is stepwise migration? Sometimes people move from a village to a town and later to a big city. Since 
they are moving in a stepwise manner. That is considered as your stepwise migration.